What is going on guys, Tom H here and welcome to my first ever top 10 video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a list of my top 10 most dangerous dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park series. But quickly, I just want to thank you guys for the likes yesterday. It means a lot to see that you guys actually support the series and I definitely want to keep doing these videos. So, But anyways, let's get on to the list. Coming in at number 10 is the Stegosaurus. What makes the Stegosaurus so dangerous is its large frame and its tail. Now its tail has multiple spikes on it and these spikes were very large and if you were to get hit by one of these, I doubt you could survive it. The only thing that makes the Stegosaurus not so dangerous is it lacks intelligence and just the way it moves around. It seems like it has a very hard time moving around and maneuvering. You could easily dodge it. You could get away from it pretty, pretty easily as well. It's not the fastest dinosaur out there. Coming in at number 9 is the Pterodon. Now we've seen the Pterodon do a lot of things in the Jurassic Park franchise. We've seen it be able to pick up people, even taking down helicopters. So whether you're flying or you're walking, either way, this dinosaur is very dangerous. And with that beak, it could easily stab you. We did see this in action in Jurassic World when the Pterodon ended up stabbing one of the passengers on the helicopter. Overall, the Pterodon is a very dangerous dinosaur no matter where you are. Now coming in at number 8 is, is the Ceratosaurus. Now the reason this is so high up on the list is because I'm using the Jurassic Park 3 Ceratosaurus and from what I saw in that, it didn't seem as aggressive as I thought it would be and it's not that big compared to most theropods. I believe the main component it has is its large horn on the tip of its nose and that could do a lot of damage. Like I said with the Stegosaurus, anything with a spike or a horn is very dangerous. That comes along with its jaws which are very powerful so if you were to get attacked by a ceratosaurus you most likely would not be making it out alive judging by its aggression and its intelligence if you make them right moves you could probably get away from this dinosaur pretty easily coming in at number seven is the triceratops now the triceratops is is well known for being the sh one of the strongest herbivores out there so has two very large horns on its head it can obviously do a lot of damage even if you're in a car or your house with its size and its strength and its speed it could easily get through anything basically it's basically a walking tank and the triceratops has been known to be able to do a lot of damage or even kill some t-rexes which is pretty rare but still it can do a lot of damage to t-rexes injuring them just using its horns to its advantage if the triceratops was to bull rush a human the human would definitely not survive that the triceratops is way too big and if it uses its horns and you get hit by that you are a hundred percent dying from that there's no way to come back from that luckily the triceratops is a herbivore so they don't target humans but if you do make it mad you're basically dead coming in at number six is the dilophosaurus in jurassic park the dilophosaurus started out as a non-aggressive dinosaur but as it progressed and nedry made it more made it angry it became very aggressive and when it becomes aggressive it becomes very dangerous with that poison ink or whatever that is that obviously stung nedry and basically blinded him the poison ink that it shoots out seems to be blinding so this could cause long-term damage even if it doesn't end up killing you so that is very dangerous and i don't think anyone would want to get near one of these dinosaurs coming in at number five is the t-rex now this is this is expected as the t-rex is one of the largest dinosaurs in the jurassic park series and seems like it's the most dangerous dinosaur to humans as when it does encounter humans it does a lot of damage it kills a lot of humans and it is very powerful and it could do damage to you even if you're in a car as we saw in Jurassic Park, it flipped the car over and basically acted like it was a toy. So another thing the T-Rex has is its powerful jaws. If you get bit by a T-Rex, you are 100% dead. The one saving grace to this dinosaur is, in the Jurassic Park franchise at least, it doesn't seem to be the smartest of dinosaurs. And apparently staying still will cause the T-Rex to not see you, which is why they had to use the flare to get the T-Rex away. And they use that in Jurassic World as well. But if you just stay still or go hide, I don't think the T-Rex will be able to find you or kill you. Coming in at number 4 is the Spinosaurus. Now, like I said in yesterday's video, what makes the Spinosaurus scary, deadly, is the fact that it can swim and it can walk on land. No matter where you are, it can basically kill you. Now, another thing it has is its long arms, unlike the T-Rex, so it can pick you up, it can throw you, and it could use its jaws to bite you and kill you eventually. So overall, the Spinosaurus is a tank, and, and the only method we've seen from surviving a Spinosaurus attack is just to run and hide, basically. And that didn't even prove to be that successful, because the Spinosaurus ended up breaking through that wall, so I feel is underrated as a dinosaur. Coming in at number 3 is the Mosasaur. 
And like I said in yesterday's video, the Mosasaur is very dangerous and very scary. So if the Mosasaur ends up spotting you in the water, you can basically guarantee death. When you're in the water, it has full control over you. It Even if you're on a boat, like I said, even with a Spinosaurus, you're still basically dead. The Mosasaur is very large, very powerful has very large jaws and a very powerful bite force so just judging by what it did to the indominus rex that alone just proves how deadly it is and even to the strongest of dinosaurs out there still very deadly but the one thing is it doesn't seem to do very well on land it seems to be pretty easy to get away from but if you are in the water you kind of have to hope that it doesn't see you coming in at number two is the indominus rex now, the Indominus Rex was the first hybrid in Jurassic World. It proved to be one of the deadliest dinosaurs in the entire franchise. The Indominus Rex can camouflage, very powerful, very intelligent, very agile, and judging by what it did to the ACU soldiers and how it just dominated them, proves that it's very deadly. It even dominated the T-Rex and the Velociraptor pack, so there was literally no way to get away from the Indominus Rex. Maybe going in the water could not help you, but a lot of people have been saying that it does have cuttlefish DNA, so maybe it could swim to you. We just haven't seen it do that yet. Coming in at number, coming in at number one is the Velociraptor. Now, uh, the reason I picked the Velociraptor for number one is it is about the same size as a human, so... You are not safe anywhere except for the water. If a pack of Velociraptors are roaming the streets, that could be very deadly. They could go into your house. The only way you could kind of get away from the Velociraptor is hiding behind a door and just hoping that it doesn't break through. It has its toe claw, which if you get cut by that, that's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to hurt really bad. And it also has its jaws, which are very powerful. And the Velociraptor is very fast, so there's no way to outrun it unless you were in a car. And even at that, probably catch up to you eventually. But I definitely think the Velociraptors are underrated in terms of deadliness. I think people overrate the theropods. But to humans, the Velociraptor is very dangerous. And I don't think many dinosaurs can match up to the Velociraptor in terms of that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with my list? Give me your top 10 list in the comment section below. Leave a like if you haven't. And yeah, guys, have a nice day.